How to create and simulate an RLC circuit using TINA. In this tutorial video, we will create and analyze an RLC circuit. An RLC circuit is an electrical circuit consisting of a resistor, R, an inductor, L, and a capacitor, C. We will create the RLC circuit shown on the screen. First, select and place the resistor from the basic toolbar. Next, select and place the inductor and the capacitor. Before placing the capacitor, rotate it by using the rotate icon on the toolbar. Finally, select and place the voltage generator on the workspace. Next, connect the components with wire. Note that you can cross the components with wire. The program automatically cuts the wire sections that cross the components. We still need to add the ground and a voltage pin from the meters toolbar. The waveform at the voltage pin will be shown on the diagram under the name VF1. Let's check the voltage in the voltage generator. Double click on the voltage generator. The default setting is a unit step. and its voltage is 1 volt. It will jump from 0 to 1 at the beginning of the simulation. T equals 0. OK, let's accept these settings and close the dialogs. We still need to change the default values of some of the components. Let's change R1 to 200 ohms. and C1 from 1 microfarad to 1 nanofarad. Note that you should just enter 1N for 1 nanofarad. Now the circuit is ready for analysis. OK, let's save our circuit under the name rlccircuit.tsc. Note that it is not necessary to enter the TSC extension. Let's first make a transient analysis. Select Transient from the Analysis menu. Set the end display time to 50 microseconds. Note that you should enter 50U for 50 microseconds. Next, select the Zero Initial Values option and press OK. The transient time response appears in the diagram window of TINA. OK, now let's add the diagram to the schematic editor window to store it together with the circuit schematic. In the diagram window, select Edit and then Copy from the menu or use the Ctrl-C hotkey. Close the diagram window. Next, in the schematic editor window, go to the Edit menu and select Paste to paste the diagram or use the Ctrl-V hotkey. You can also use the Paste icon on the toolbar. The diagram will be attached to your cursor. Place it wherever you wish on the workspace. Now you can move or resize the diagram using the mouse. The transient analysis is made by numerical calculations. Now let's generate the accurate closed formula describing the transient response using the symbolic analysis capability of TINA. Note that the closed formula exists in linear circuits only. From the Analysis menu, select Symbolic Analysis and then Semi-Symbolic Transient. The symbolic result appears. The symbolic result describes the transient response of the circuit with an accurate analytic closed formula. We can also draw a diagram using the formula and compare it with the numerical result. In the Equation Editor window, click on the Calculator icon. Then, in the Interpreter window, click on the Run icon, denoted by a green arrow. They are very close to each other. The difference is due to the numerical solution used at the transient analysis.
Note that to increase the accuracy of the numerical calculations, we set a small time step. TR maximum time step equals 100 nanoseconds in the analysis parameters window. Okay, now let's add this formula to the schematics editor window. In the equation editor window, select edit and then copy from the menu. Next, in the schematic editor window, go to the edit menu and select paste to paste the diagram. The formula will appear and you can add to the schematic diagram window. Note that you can also customize the formula. For example, you can change the size of the font or add a border to it, etc. Double click on the formula and in the text editor window, press the F font button. Select a larger font and enable the border. Okay, let's continue with the AC analysis. Go to the Analysis menu, select AC Analysis, then AC Transfer Characteristic. In the AC Transfer Analysis dialog, set the number of points to 500 to have a finer diagram. Using the checkboxes in the diagram group, you can determine which diagrams will be displayed. Check all of them, then press OK. The AC amplitude characteristic appears, but at the same time the program has calculated the phase, Nyquist, group delay, and AC Bode diagrams. Next, add the AC Bode diagram to the schematic editor window. In the diagram window, select Edit and then Copy from the menu. Close the diagram. Then, on the main toolbar, click the Paste icon. Place the diagram on the workspace. Rearrange the diagrams and the symbolic results to get the preferred layout. To move the circuit to a different position, use the Windows selection, then drag the selected parts by clicking any selected component and moving the mouse while holding down the left mouse button. You can drop the circuit in its final position by releasing the left mouse button. Similarly, you can also drag and drop all other graphic elements on the screen. Finally, let's generate the closed formula of the AC transfer function using Symbolic Analysis. From the Analysis menu, select Symbolic Analysis, then AC Transfer. The formula of the transfer function appears. We can also add it to the schematic editor window. You can also edit the formula as shown previously in this video. Add a title to the circuit. Press the large T button on the toolbar. The text dialog will appear. In the text dialog box, enter RLC circuit, press the F font button. Select 24 or a similar font size and press OK. The RLC circuit text will appear attached to your cursor. Move it to the middle at the top of the screen and place it by clicking the left mouse button. Finally, using the save icon on the toolbar, save your circuit along with the embedded text, diagrams, and formulas under the same name, RLC circuit. This concludes our demonstration on creating and simulating an RLC circuit. For more information, visit our website at tina.com. Visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com user slash tinadesignsuite.